This fight is very short and has no outright victor, so we're going to decide one based on who performed best in it. Now, given Ahsoka is coming into this off the back of an absolute ass kicking in their last encounter, I was curious to see if she had learned from her previous blunder of trying to fight the physically stronger fighter in a manner where it becomes a contest of physical strength. This time she ignites both of her lightsabers and this really gave me hope that she did learn from that. And now she's going to lean into her amazing agility and dexterity in her iconic Ataru style. However, that hope was immediately dashed when she rushed in and instantly gets herself into a blade lock of Baylin. This is just straight up losing. As we saw before, every traditional blade lock is going to end in Baylin's favor. Now, Atari actually has a technique specifically designed for the beginning of fights to get an advantageous blade lock regardless of physical strength. It's called a hawk bat swoop. The user launches themselves into the air and dives down on their opponent while bringing their lightsabers crashing down like a meteor. It sets up a win-win situation if the opponent doesn't both have insane reactions and are very adept at dodging. As if they don't react in time, you'll just slice through their body like Anakin to the younglings, and if they do react in time and block the strike, then they'll be taking the force of both you slamming the sabers into theirs and the full impact of your momentum behind it, plus your entire body weight, allowing you to get all the perks of an advantageous blade lock, like sapping your opponent's stamina with every second that they have to defend it, and if they can't defend it, then you'll do significant or even potentially fatal damage. Now, if you're an absolute tank like Baylin is, you can leverage your physical strength to force the other person off you. But that in and of itself is still a win for a soaker, as it would cause Baylin to exert a really big amount of effort just for defense at the beginning of the duel. Obviously, the more tired you are, the more likely you are to make mistakes. So it's actually baffling to me that Ahsoka doesn't opt into doing this, as I know that she knows how to do it. We've seen her do it multiple times and in different time periods, some close to this even. But it is what it is, I guess. She immediately puts herself at a disadvantage by going into the standard blade lock, and now there's a cut in the fighting. When we come back, the two of them are scrapping it out again. While Ahsoka isn't leveraging her famed agility, it seems her adaptation from the last fight to this fight is to fight in angles within the pocket. This is actually not a bad idea. Balin is a fighter that leverages his physical strength to get an advantage. You can strip away some of that physical strength by limiting his motions, making it so he's unable to fully wind up or step in with his body. Instead, Instead, when this close, all his strikes are now short and thus have not as much weight behind them. Not only this, but this time Ahsoka is doing a much better job of not fighting linearly. By constantly moving around Balin while he's attacking, it's much harder for him to catch her and push her off him to create that mid-range distance he wants in order to generate strength. So by doing these things in concert, Ahsoka has managed to effectively reduce Balin's biggest advantage, which is critical as one of the drawbacks of using two lightsabers is it reduces the amount of strength you can generate in a slash or a block. The block is the important part here. Remember, when holding the saber with both hands, Ahsoka was barely able to block Balin's strikes. With only one hand holding a saber, she would get straight up ragdolled, meaning to block heavy strikes, she'd have to use both of her lightsabers, which would obviously negate the advantage of having a second saber. So in order to make use of having the second saber, she must block Balin's attacks with one hand, thus limiting Balin's strength output is critical, as it now opens a window for her to slash at him with her other saber. This in turn also gives Balin another threat to worry about, and suddenly defense isn't as easy and simple as it was for him in the last fight. Now, while Ahsoka is doing a much better job at trying to open up his defense here, ultimately his defense is still extremely solid. It is one of the foundations of Demso after all. He is able to successfully stonewall her out and catch her in a blade lock. What's interesting is he chooses to push her out of it here. Usually it's much more advantageous to tax her stamina by forcing her to find a way out to escape the blade lock. So, either Balin is really frustrated by the way Ahsoka is fighting and just wanted to force that mid-range distance, allowing him to finally generate some strength-based attacks, or the producers thought cutting back to this fight for the second time without us seeing how they resolved the blade lock would be weird. Either way, when we come back to the fight, we can now see that the fight is taking place in a range Balin is more comfortable in, and so he starts gaining the upper hand. Man to knock Ahsoka back. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've watched this knock back like 30 times and I'm still not entirely sure how it happened. It kinda looks like Ahsoka went for a kick while they were tangled, but then Balin pushed her before she could land it. But I don't know for certain since the camera angle is a bit Regardless, she ends up on her ass and how she chooses to get up is a bit weird. Like, 
it works, but it was just more effort than necessary. In the first fight, you could see that one of the ways she was dealing with blocking these heavy strikes is by catching them in a manner where she can slide them off her saber. She sees Balin coming with a heavy downward slash here, so she uses the same principle again, catching it with her blade angled so she can easily slide it down by hitting Balin's blade with her main saber. It ends up working, but it was a bit risky, as since she was catching a heavy blow with her offhand blade, there is a chance this hit could have staggered her back onto her ass again. It would have been much safer for her to just use the momentum of the initial fall to roll backwards and then jump to her feet, creating distance and getting cleanly out of danger. But I digress. Balin follows up with another heavy blow and Ahsoka catches it using the same principle again, this time using the opportunity to sneak back into the pocket and to her dismay, Balin is now more cognizant of her goal and this time quickly beats her back out of super close quarters. Ahsoka catches his blade and this time switches it up, trying to cheese him here by just going for his head with her other saber. Balin is far too cognizant though and does not fall for this trick, easily catching her hand and stopping the strike. Now sadly this is where the fight ends as it's interrupted by incoming ships and Ahsoka uses the chance to get to Sabine. So who won the fight? Initially, it's easy to say Ahsoka because she did do the final action per se, but that didn't really achieve much, and if the fight kept going after this, they would have been just right back in the neutral. So, what I have to look at is the fight overall. Ahsoka does do pretty decently in the early part of it, managing to implement her new game plan quite well against Balin and finding more windows than she ever got in the first fight. That being said though, Balin did adapt pretty quickly. The rest of the fight is almost entirely him creating all the pressure and dictating the pace, forcing Ahsoka into bad positions and she was never really able to get going again like she did in the early part of the fight. Of course, if the fight had kept going, it's totally possible that maybe Ahsoka could have made another adaptation, but sadly we don't live in that reality and from what did happen, Balin controlled the majority of the fight. So with that in mind, I would crown Balin as the winner by technical decision in this rematch between two former Jedi. But of course this is just my opinion based on my knowledge of the Star Wars lore and my interpretation of the fight. What did you guys think of the fight and who do you think came out ahead? I am interested to hear everybody's opinion so leave them down in the comments below. Personally I feel so teased by the fight being interrupted and I really hope we get to see a full rematch soon and I really hope that Ahsoka will go back to leaning into her iconic Ataru style. She's I tried pretty much everything else at this point and it hasn't worked, but I truly believe if she goes back to that, she does have the skill set to overcome Baylin. So with that being said, please leave a like on the video so other Star Wars fans can find it, and please subscribe, I am on a mission to now hit 10,000 subscribers so I could maybe look cool and finally find a girlfriend. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye